Uh, hello guys and welcome to my new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to pass the data between uh, two activities. So I have two activities. Uh, the main activity uh, is, con uh, is consists of uh, one input text or edit text and one button. And the second activity is uh, empty activity. So in the first activity uh, main layout we have two uh, UI elements. And now we're going to go to main activity dot class or dot java and we're going to uh, to find the id of those uh, two elements which i mentioned earlier so we're going to create variables for uh, edit text and button and in on create method we are going to find the id as usual okay this is the edit text and the button So what we're going to do, we're going to um, uh, set on click listener and uh, we're going to get the text from our input uh, field or uh, edit text and we're going to pass that text to our second activity. So first create uh, an intent and we're going to pass two parameters, our main activity and our second activity. And then we're going to use uh, intent method put extra. Uh, you can put uh, different kind of uh, values here, uh, like uh, uh, integer, string, uh, uh, you can put double, you can put even uh, integer array or string array, or basically anything else, boolean and so on. Um, in this case we're going to put just a simple string which, we'll, uh, which we'll, we will get from um, our input field or edit text. So uh, we have two parameters here, uh, key and value, or name and value. So uh, you should uh, remember this name, uh, it should be some key, for, uh, key example, in my case will be key1, let's say. We'll put it uh, key1, this is uh, the name, and the value will be our uh, text from the edit text input field. So we're going to create a string. And in this string variable, we are going to put uh, this uh, text from the input field. So uh, input field dot get text dot to string, and uh, put that string as a second parameter in a put extra method. And then we are going to just start the activity. Okay, uh, we have uh, created all that. And now let's go to our second activity, Java. And in this activity, we're going to get that data and we're going to display uh, that text to Toast message. So, first create a bundle and uh, get intent.get extras. So, now create if block. If extras is not now, then we're going to display a message. So, uh, let's say extras dot get get string and in uh, as a parameter pass the key it's a key one because we said that uh, earlier in main activity and we're going to uh, put this data uh, or our value in a string named data and then we're going to display a toast message with uh, the value of our string data and that's it. Uh, now let's try and run out and run our application so we can check it out how it works. So we have input text and I'm going to type my name of YouTube channel. Uh, now click go and as you can see in the toast message we got our text from the input from the edit text. Now let's change something else to just the random characters. There you go. And now if I uh, don't put anything and click go, it will show an empty string. Because it's not null, it is an empty string. And there you go. It is uh, pretty easy to implement this. Uh, it's very useful to, to know how to do this because uh, many of, in many of times uh, when you're creating an application you'll need to pass the data between uh, tens or twenties different activities and so on. Um, thank you for watching guys, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, see you next video.